Okay, I'm here at the Viper Rooms and there's a really interesting sign we want to talk about today. And the most interesting thing we can see about it is we've got this large section of board which is going to have to resist a lot of wind. And that wind force is going to have to be transferred down to the ground through a single column. So let's maybe start talking about some numbers and how they're going to apply. So this wind load is going to have to be resisted by the four supports we've got at either, each corner. And these supports are going to transfer the load to these vertical supports. And from there, it's going to have to go through the column and into the ground. And what we can assume is to take a, an average and expected wind load, apply it to this and use that as our case, which we're going to design for. Now, what this load path we just looked at means is there's a couple of interesting features as to how these vertical members are actually loaded. Because there's no supports on the top of the sign, then all the bending of this sign is going to be transferred through the four supports on these verticals into the members themselves as concentrated moments. And so that's going to have an interesting impact on the bending behavior of these members.